Hello and welcome to the Circuit Breaker event. Here we are at stage four and prepare to have your mind blown. If you know spa, well, you don't. This is completely different. This is like a whole new track on this car. It's almost unimaginable. I was quite surprised and I think you will be too. Now, I had to do some creative strategy today. For this particular stage, I am starting with no upgrades at all. And that's not too easy. So here, I need to get a push. So you need to be watching where the guy is behind you. You get a nice deep push. Now they break way too early. And then you're not going to catch this guy if you've got no upgrades. He's going to go ways away. It said no off track, but that counter there is giving us 1.5 seconds of off track. So you want to save that for when you might need it. What I mean is be really clean. Don't accidentally go off track. But we just took Eau Rouge Ratty on flat out. And here we are coming to the chicane at the top of the track. So can I stay full throttle here? Like, is that even possible? Not possible in any other car. Well, there you go. What about this? Well, did you notice that my throttle did not lift at all? Okay, well, here we go. This corner is full throttle in F1 cars. There we go. What about Puon corner? Hmm, full throttle in some cars. Um, yes. Surely not the next corner. No, the next corner can't be full throttle. What car can you do that? Mm, this one. What about this corner? Yes. This corner? No, certainly not. Uh-huh. Like, seriously? Can you believe that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my goodness. So, you need to get to push. This is hard. This is extremely hard. So, you got to get a push. Now, if you have more upgrades than me, it's probably not hard at all. But I don't have any. So, it's difficult and breaking ridiculously late. Like, seriously? That's crazy. Now there, I didn't need to spend it. I just spent 0.2 seconds. I didn't want to do that. Now I need to overtake this guy really quickly. I'd like to be in front of him getting a push up Camel. Let's see if I can do that. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. Oh, perfect. That's what I need. Now look at that. He really slowed down to give me that line. Nuts. He's too far back. I'm not going to get much of a push here. Well, we'll just have to see what happens. He'll start to catch up to me near the top of the hill, which is almost where I don't want him to be catching up. Um, I'll catch a little bit of draft and honestly some blocking. Uh, not bad. I'll be okay. He's going to almost hit me though. You can't see him there, but that gets really close. I, I actually, I had to do many attempts at this stage because I had to totally relearn spa. Like, you know how scary it is to go into all these corners full throttle? Well... You just got to let it go. Just give yourself some grace. Just give it a shot, okay? Do some trial and error. You do need proper trajectory, but you'd be shocked how much you can do in this car. Now, a lot of that is because top speed is low. By the way, were you noticing the top speed I was hitting? 283. What's the top speed possible within this car right now? 269. So that doesn't happen in any other car ever in this game. You cannot exceed... The normal top speed at spa unless you're going down camel backwards that's the first ever okay hasn't happened no nope. uh-huh no and don't talk to me about drafting i'm not talking about drafting people were saying oh well it happens in nascar or here or there no 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 that's drafting i'm talking a car on its own going quite a bit over posted top speed unassisted like holy cow that means that i don't even think that the the game engine that the programming really could handle this car because it's exceeding its posted top speed. That shouldn't be possible. They were not planning for us to stay full throttle through that whole up section there. Like, it's ridiculous. I love it, but it's ridiculous. Again, I have no assists on, guys. I don't run with assists. This is no assist driving. In fact, assists are gonna probably make you break in a whole bunch of places you don't need to be breaking. Here, no braking. Never done that in any car. No braking. No braking. No braking. Tiny bit of braking coming up here. Well, especially with him in the way. Not even there. Not much, right? And then, no, I'm not going to be on the brakes again till the last chicane. 
Like seriously, never happens. Watch the speed. I just exceeded posted top speed. 280, 81, 82, 83, 84. Come on, like crazy, man. That is quite a bit. Without drafting, I hit 284, okay? Did you notice that? I mean, just never, 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 never. And see there, I actually could have made that perfectly fine. I was a little bit scared to tilt it enough. Don't be, just do it. This car is gonna stick like glue. The only problem with this car, car is low speed corners and that gets very frustrating at this track. I've had this car step out so badly on some of these corners, especially this last chicane. Now I had to do that because I didn't think I was gonna get an overtake. <laughs> One tenth of a second left over. So, woohoo! There we go, crazy, 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 crazy. You don't want to finish higher than third because third is all you need. My lap times were better than everybody. Now, I added an upgrade, added two upgrades. See that? I needed to do that. I couldn't do this any other way. I tried. So the question is, can I still stay full, stay full throttle even though I did that? Well, the AI, AI doesn't drive very good, so this will be no problem here. The real question will come on the next lap. So hitting average speed here, that wasn't too bad with no upgrades. The problem was getting up to third place. I couldn't do it. And I, I first I added one upgrade, I still couldn't get there. Hitting the average speed requirement is extremely hard with no upgrades, but I needed two more to get there. So, and by the way, it doesn't say anything about off track. There is about one full second of off track grace. Don't spend it unless you have to. You gotta be careful. Um, I did do a test on that, but I ended up, that was like four videos ago, because I have to keep recording even when I fail, right? So I ended up deleting it. Now, you want Eric to push you. You need to be watching where his numbers are. You need to know where the bots drive. You need him to push you, and you need to block him, and it gets incredibly difficult. Listen carefully here. This is strategy. After this next slight right, you want Eric to be to your far left. Okay, that's going to make him go low, all right? If you don't do this, you're going to get a, the pit maneuver done to you right up here. See, I'm making him go low. There we go. Now I can still say stay full throttle like I have to. So you can manipulate where the bots drive by what you're doing. Look at this. That is crazy. I've never hit the brakes that late at that corner for that little of time. Just bizarre. I love it. This car is crazy. Now I'm purposely driving a little bit wide because I need Tim. Tim? Yes, that says Tim. I don't want to encounter Tim too early in this corner because he breaks heavy and I need to get around to him while staying full throttle. So I purposely took a wider path through Puan Corner and the rest of the corners so that I wasn't catching him as quick as I was on my other attempts. Now you can see my average speed has taken quite a hit from my first lap, but I've banked a lot more of it. So let's just see what happens here as I cross the start finish line. Let's see if I'm still above the required minimum speed. Okay, Bruno, these are interesting names. Bruno, I'd love to be in front of Bruno after corner one, so Bruno can push me up Kemmel. That's gonna be tricky. I don't know if I can do that. Uh, I gotta be really careful. Right there, man, I lost the car a lot. So I can draft off Bruno for a bit, then I will lose him, but after the chicane, after the corner, after the chicane, I forget its name, I apologize, um, I will catch him there. Heading, heading to the hairpin, I will catch Bruno. So Bruno's gonna pull away quite a bit here, like quite a ways away from me draft-wise, but remember, we take this chicane flat out, baby. Just bizarre. And once you get the hang of it, it's not even that hard. This car just wants you to do it. It wants you. Oh my goodness. I was trying to go on the outside. I can't believe I got away from that. Can't believe I got away with that. This is a no damage stage. That was a big hit. Huh. Okay, that means I better not even tap anyone else. And honestly, I'm quite worried here. Chloe, I'm worried. I'm quite a ways back from Chloe. Man. I bet you that slowed me down, that damage. So I'll stay full throttle here. I need, I need to catch the draft. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get some draft. Oh, good, good, good. That's awesome. 
Now I'm on the draft. That means that Chloe's going to be, I, I'm, we're stuck in it together. So that we're going to, it's going to kind of keep us together a little bit. I need to break late into this last chicane. I am breaking after the very last shadow. Okay, right there. I'm breaking probably two car lengths past. Now I drove that really deep. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't fail right there. That's why I saved up my off track. I just spent it. And now I slow down. I want to reel Chloe in. I want to finish with as little of as, as a lead as possible. Third place. I just had a podium. Podium's third place. This, this is also extremely difficult. I added one more upgrade. So I've got three upgrades, all top speed related. Even then, you've got to get really creative. You can't pass and you can't be passed. I need Eric to slow down, so I'm going to mess him up, okay? Look at this, see? My, my following was still counting there. I had to mess him up a little bit. Why am I doing that? I want third place to catch up. I'm going to mess Eric up again here a little bit, quite a bit. Ooh, I, I tried this a lot, guys. Now look at, what, look at what I've achieved. I now have a nice, tight sandwich. Eric and myself and the other fellow... Well, we're all in the draft together, and this is tricky. You need to know where he wants to drive and drive there. Remember, after this little corner, we want the bot behind us to drive to our left, so we drive to the right. See that? I'm to the right. Now, at the last second, I'll dip low to get trajectory, but I'm going to have to hit the brakes this time, because Eric's going to hit the brakes. I don't want to hit him too much. I don't want to fail, because this is the most amount of drafting I got in at this point so far. This is really, 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 really hard. Really hard. Now, Eric stays full throttle through Puan. Isn't that amazing? He So the computer knows you can stay full throttle here. However, next corner, the computer thinks that it needs to break a little bit. So get ready for that. You don't want to plow into Eric. See, look at this. And then this corner, he breaks. And then kind of heavy braking here. So break early and then get on the throttle because he's going to out-accelerate us. And, oh, am I ever happy to achieve this. This is brutal. I'm so happy. There we go. That is going fast, man. Then a speed snap. At first, this seems really hard. I failed it once, and then I did my old trick. Try to find a place where you can go full throttle from. Watch very closely where I'm going to park, okay? That's just ending on my left. My rear tire's lined up with it. Full throttle, okay? No lifting, no braking. Get the trajectory correct. My first attempt at this, taking it wide, could have even gone a little bit further. Taking that wide on purpose, taking this over to the left, back to the right. I had more than enough speed. Come on, this car is amazing. Okay, guys, you really must have liked this video, so please press like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.